Woohoo! Road trip time! Super exciting! Uh, uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh no, I remember now. Okay, so my mom and I decided to take a road trip and we stayed for a couple nights in Paso Robles and then ended up driving all the way to San Diego. So, enjoy! I've recently been getting back into reading. Definitely not as much as I used to, but still progress. I'm reading this book called 1Q48. This book is like realistic fiction. It seems very realistic, but it's touching on parallel realities. Oh my god, I don't know why, but the characters are so well painted. They're painted as such specific people, with each person having such developed storylines and like not seeming overbearing and each person gives you a different feeling. It's just so creative and such eccentric backgrounds. It also touches on the feeling of wanting to do something but at the same time not wanting to even try because you just don't want to put in the effort. Basically a form of being too lazy but like not at the same time. It also definitely explores the topic of doing bad things for a good cause or good reason which has always been an interesting conversation for me. It also has some really good quotes that really make you think or even sarcastically laugh, if that makes sense. Overall, although it is taking me a while to read, I'm really enjoying the unique storyline and the overall style it's written with. No. Ты похож на мумию. Ну, вставай. Ну, ты Так ты и сдуешь вообще. So 2021 has arrived, although in the video it's a couple days before the actual new year. This is the longest segment so I'm taking full advantage of that. I don't want to reflect on 2020 that much because like everyone arrived at similar conclusions. Instead I'm just going to try and look ahead and try to talk more about that. What is my 2021 going to look like? Man, if only I knew. Hopefully I'll finish freshman year. Will I go back to life school or stay online for the rest of the time? I have absolutely no idea. So I'm not going to talk about my plans for 2021 either. Instead, I'm going to talk about how I can improve for 2021. 2021 has taught everyone their weaknesses, and I'm no different. What were the weaknesses that shone through my life? Lack of confidence, motivation, dependence, little ability on improving, procrastination on some things, to name a few. I know that listing your weaknesses can seem like a negative thing to do, but instead, it's the first step to improving yourself. You can't improve if you don't know what to improve. I've already briefly talked about confidence before, so I won't focus too much on this. Although my confidence in myself has dramatically increased, I'm so far from the mindset I want to be. 
the only way for me to improve is to keep putting myself out there. I think confidence for me comes from wanting to prove everyone wrong. Like, I don't know how to explain it other than that. Basically just means I'm stubborn. Motivation. For what do I need motivation? School, piano, YouTube, to name a few. Maybe even social life in general. After the first couple of months of online school, my motivation plummeted, like it went into negative mode. Again, motivation for me is proving everyone wrong, and how to say prevailing over everyone. Yeah, maybe I'm just super stubborn and I incorporate that into everything. I mean, it's not necessary, necessarily a bad quality, I mean depending on how I use it. You know when you have this feeling inside of you, and it's like burning, but it's not bad, but at the same time it bothers you because you don't necessarily know what it wants, and you're just itching to find out what it wants. And then you start reflecting on your whole life trying to find what you missed, because same. That's exactly what's happening to me. I have physical things I can change in my life, such as improving test grades, piano, eating habits, health, but I don't think that's what this burning wants. And then I got it, or at least hopefully I got it. I think the biggest desire I have right now is to live my best life, which is an insanely big thing to do and to think about, but it's the only thing that makes sense and seems to cover all bases for me. And that thinking delivered me to a new mindset, where I hope to remain for a long time. Finding what you truly want in life is hard, and it changes all the time. How do you even know if that is what you truly want in life? The only thing that is possible to do is to just keep going and being okay with your feelings and your emotions changing. Think about what you want in the moment and how it will affect you in the wrong run. Find a balance between thinking in the moment and for the future because it's important to do both. I wish I could tell you specifically how I arrived at that mindset, but I myself don't even know. It's like something just snapped and now that I'm putting in this in writing, it just makes sense. 2020 was weird and so far 2021 is even weirder. But instead of getting lost in all the things you have lost, go and use that as an incentive to live your best life. I just spent the last 40 minutes walking downhill and uphill in leather boots in really hot weather. Thank you.
and that is it for this video. Um, the road trip was really fun overall, and I got to relax, and it was, you know, just really fun overall. Like I just said three seconds ago. Um, I hope that everyone has a good year ahead of them, and I really wish you guys the best. Hopefully, America calms down a little bit. <laughs> But, nonetheless, thank you for all your support, and have an amazing week, year, and day.